Hey guys, Abby here this morning with NLC Live for day eight of our devotional. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, Tyler and Neil are not here. They're no longer with us today. They're not dead, they're just not here. first thing we're going to do is just dive into the verse of the day. So day eight, we are doing Romans 8, 28. Neil talked about in our last Evo just about, you know, whatever translation you want to use. Um, I'm going to read from the NIV, and then what I have here is actually the Holman version. This is the She Reads Truth Bible. Um, I got this for Christmas this year. I love it because it is big and sturdy and it just lays flat on its own it doesn't like flop together so we know that all things work together for the good of those who love god who are called according to his purpose before i actually start reading a passage for these devos what i like to do is i actually like to see like what's going on in the whole book i don't mean like read the whole book i just i want to know okay like who wrote this letter who did he write it to? So Romans, that was written by Paul, the Apostle Paul. Command to obey doesn't have to be so like direct. It, do, it doesn't have to be like, please do this or do this. What Paul is saying is that no matter what happens, everything that happens to us, God has the ability to work it for our good. For me, a command to obey would be, okay, in all things, I'm going to trust God or I'm gonna have joy. There's a very obvious promise. The promise is that the words all things are really important. It doesn't say we know that only the bad or only the good or all things, good or bad. All things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. After reading this a couple times, at first I was like, there's no sin. I mean, it's all good. Like, it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> and then the more I started to read it, I thought, okay, I think the sin to avoid here is is pride. So everyone, no matter like the level, all of us have this tendency to like want to control. Whether it be big things, little things, when I read this, I start to get kind of nervous because I'm like, all things, all things. So something bad is going to happen? <laughs> like you just start thinking, okay, yeah, it's, it's obvious that we live in a, a sinful world. We live in a fallen world and so, bad things are bound to happen but the the great thing is that god can work them all out and so i don't have to sit here and try to control and and try to manipulate and make everything like work out for good like he can do that on his own so for me it's pride let's like avoid pride and just that urge to control all the things next question is there an application to make god's timing is often inconvenient to us often slower than we would like, but it's always better. And I totally agree with that because I always tend to think that like how I have it in my mind has to be the best possible situation. But when I read this, it's like, no, God's got this. Like he, he can handle this. Is there something new about God that you're learning? When Jesus goes and heals Lazarus and he raises him from the dead, and it says that he cried when he got there, like he wept because it was a really dear friend. And I mean, he knew that he was about to raise him from the dead, but like death, I mean, it was still a bad thing. It was a really sad thing. And so I just think it's important to know, like we don't have to control every little scenario and say like, oh, it's actually a good thing. Like, I think what you can learn from this is that good things are good things, bad things are bad things, and the best is yet to come. Like, he can make all of those things work. We know that because we are believers and because we are called, that's who Paul's talking to. He's talking to believers here. We know that because we are called and we are saved by his grace, that he will work all things out for good. I'm gonna just pray this over you guys today. Lord, I just thank you for everyone that's joining in today. God, I just pray that you would bless their time with you this morning. Um, I pray that you would reveal new things to them and that you would give them better understanding. Lord, we know that all things work out for good. Lord, you have that ability, you have that power, and God, that you don't waste any pain in our life. You can use every circumstance Lord, to, to transform us to be more and more like you. So God, I just pray that you would bless all these people today, Lord, and I pray that you would give them a great rest of their day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Get your Bible, get a notebook, get a pen, your beverage of choice, maybe coffee, LaCroix, whatever. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Is this Anchorman? Thank you.